Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha video with me. So as you can tell straight away, I have Mikumo on my front screen. By coincidence, she's actually not my favorite diva if you guys are familiar with me by now. Uh, we are actually here to talk about the brand new episode plate that Mikumo has in her uh, gacha right now because it is the first ever brand new episode plate that comes with a very new active skill so that's one of the main topics we are going to talk about today aside from the usual stuff um, you know breaking down the episode plates in terms of stats and of course ranking it in tier depending on how it fares with its skills and stat points and all that kind of stuff so before we begin I'm sure you guys have noticed some of the banners that has been flashing past on the main screen, some of them looking familiar, some of them looking brand new because you probably might not have uh, been paying attention to all the news and info that's coming out within um, you know, Uta Macross official Twitter or maybe even from my own YouTube Facebook page which I usually translate these news that were posted on the official Uta Macross Twitter for you guys to understand and hopefully to take part as well because you don't want to miss out on all these goodies so guys if you guys are not following me on my youtube facebook page the link is in the description down below make sure you leave a like and follow this youtube page that i do all the translation works there you know because sometimes i don't really have time to make videos to explain um fully all this kind of nitty-gritty details that you know, Dana implements into Wu-Time Across unless it's something big which is what we're going to talk about in the next video which is the, about version 3.1.0 update for Wu-Time Across but anyway guys, we are here for the gacha so let's dive into the gacha page and take a look at what Mikumo has under her sleeves within this brand new episode plate so as promised by Dana, all the first pulls you know, we'll be discounted at 300 singing stones, which is fantastic. But sometimes you might want to think again about pulling the discounted first template pool because, well, you know, the next gacha might be a diva uh, that has a costume which is only unlockable via, well, singing stone pools. <laughs> so if you guys have been playing this event, you probably know that the event episode plates are giving out the costume points for Mikumo's costume but you know if you guys have not been playing what are you guys doing <laughs> go and play the event uh, get as many free episode plates from the event itself you know maybe having your team set up as with luck episode plates and then drawing out all the low level uh, low rarity uh, episode plates you know to stack up on all the costume points as much as you can because maybe you don't have enough singing stone to do pulls for Mikumo's gacha itself but let's take a look at the episode plate stats first before we decide whether her gacha is actually worth the template pool or maybe you just want to just spend 50 singing stones and just do single pulls from the gacha and hopefully miracle of goddess of luck will bless you with single pulls but who knows anyways let's look at the episode plate because that's what we are here for i've been <laughs> dealing dallying with all the other information <laughs> all right so let's move on to the first page first all right and pay close attention to all the stats informations because mikumo's plate doesn't have the best stats available uh even with the plus 25 luck you know her stat only goes up to 3566 not the best total score we've seen all right and her episode play actually fo focuses more on charm uh, although the voice does have a bit more stats than so all right and of course pay close attention to the three other divas who are equipable with this episode play Frey Frey and of course uh, Basa Basa I don't know how Miku I don't know how Makina is gonna call Basara <laughs> is it Basa Basa or Sara Sara I don't know Basara you know Sara Sara <laughs> <laughs> then of course you have Min Min or Mei Mei depends on how Makina wants to call her but you know Min Mei you can split the name in half and then you can call her two different ways and end up you know calling like two different people anyway guys alright so center skill S rank alright charm up 
Unit's charm is boosted by 90% up. The center skill alone indicates that Mikumo's episode play is meant for a center position use for high score purposes. But what is this brand new skill that has been added to the game via Mikumo's brand new episode play? Well, it belongs to the active skill. So active skill A rank combo bonus. So listen carefully to what I have to say because it really took me a lot of time to crack my brain and my Japanese uh, knowledge plus uh, paraphrasing. You know, because I've been playing card games um, for a long time. If you guys follow my YouTube channel since its beginning, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been playing Pokemon and all these card games were well mostly in Japanese so I have been translating Japanese card games text um, you know because Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely one hard game to translate and Pokemon has its issues as well but Uta Macross takes a different level of you know puzzle puzzling factors in terms of you know, phrasing your Japanese words together to make sense. Alright, so listen to what I have to say. This active skill may take us to a brand new tier level in terms of playing Uta Macross because this active skill is a double-edged sword. Alright, so listen carefully. For every 50 combos that you have achieved before activating this active skill, all right, you will gain a 20% boost in score for every 50 combos you have achieved for 10 seconds. Now, you might be wondering, why is it such a complicated effect? Now, if you think carefully, let's say for example, um, because the current song, New Stream, is a pretty long duration song. And long duration songs means the uh, butt load of notes to tap so um if i'm not wrong i think even for the extreme version of a new stream i think there's roughly about 500 notes to tap so if you divide 500 plus combo maybe um uh, by 50 which is basically what you require for this active skill to reach its maximum boost percentage um so 500 notes well that's basically times 10 so it's a 200 percent boost in score now the, the thing is 500 notes that's the end of the entire song so that's minus back 50 so that's 450 <laughs> so that's basically nine times so 180 percent boost in score for 10 seconds that is way more than the previous high score active skill that we've gotten which is basically for 10 seconds you gain 100 percent boost in score now, why I say this active skill is a double-edged sword, let's say for example you're terrible at playing extreme difficulty songs and you break. You break your combo and you accidentally activate your active skill and you only end up with boosting a score of 20% because you did not meet the 50% combo uh, requirement to get you know extra percentage boost. So that's what I say this active skill is kind of like a double-edged sword so if you guys have this episode plate it is an awesome awesome as an episode plate to have within your arsenal for future or current high score achievements within your own personal play or even for events but do take note you need some level of skill when it comes to playing music games to fully utilize this active skill because i myself cannot guarantee myself a perfect run of an extreme play unless the song is really easy <laughs> but still you know sometimes because of uh, fatigue you might end up missing a few notes or you know falling asleep while playing that kind of stuff so this kind of active skill is kind of risky in terms of usage which requires your full attention um, when pulling off a feat like this so yeah so this active skill fantastic skill definitely way better than the old active skill for 100% boost for 10 seconds but there is a requirement needed to meet which is your 50 combo uh, achievement so 
yeah all right so with that said what do i think about this active skill it is definitely a very good active skill um if i were to par it against the old active skill that is used for high score achievements it is definitely better than the old one by two times you know because uh, depending on the song that you are using it for, definitely this active skill is meant to be used for long duration songs. You know, and the older active skill is usable for long and short duration songs. Really depends on you guys. Um, so it's very versatile, the old effect, but the new one really focuses more on long duration song play instead of short duration songs. So in terms of long duration uh, usage this active skill is definitely way better than the old one so yeah I definitely would recommend everyone to at least try and keep a copy of an episode plate that has this active skill um, you know attached to it it doesn't have to be the current one that Mikumo is releasing um, you know it can be for a different element maybe in the future they now will release a, a star element a yellow one or maybe even a blue one which is the soul element uh, episode plates that will come with this active skill again and maybe who knows they might introduce another version of this active skill for short duration songs maybe for every i don't know 30 combo you gain 20 percent boost in score that kind of stuff who knows but anyway guys that's my explanation to you guys on what this current brand new active skill is all about hopefully this helped you uh you know this decide on whether you want to pull this gacha again if you've already pulled it before or maybe finally you can can calm yourself down to reconsider you know pulling this gacha after listening to my um explanation on it all right so let's move on to the live skill which is an s rank fantastic this episode plate has pretty decent skills attached to it so when your life drops below 50 percent you will gain a recovery of 25 percent of your hp so pretty awesome life skill um maybe when it comes to uh you know surviving difficult songs i suppose you know like what they do on the uh, Macross Gatomoranai where the Seiyus play uh, Uta Macross together and you know because they don't really play music games for uh, for fun that kind of stuff so they, they aren't particularly good at them so they require such skills to save their their ass or rather to present themselves in a better light <laughs> when it comes to showing off to their fans so yeah guys all right so let's take a look at the last page so we kind of breeze through it uh in the earlier portion of this video which basically there is no special notes attached to this episode plate so what do i rank mikumo's brand new episode plate as it's definitely a tier 2.5 it's not tier 1 because well the active skill is still very risky in terms of usage that's one of the reasons why i don't put it as tier one you know i prefer to have tier ones as a sure fire thing so that's one of the reasons why this episode plate goes into tier 2.5 definitely way higher than tier 2 episode plates because this active skill does have potential there as well so all right guys i'm going to do a single template pool for mikumo's gacha and hopefully hopefully i get something nice out of it because the last few videos has been horrendous <laughs> all right here we go and i do apologize if you guys got uh disturbed by some of my devices ringing in the background because apparently uh well I'm still a noob YouTuber, <laughs> don't know how to mute their devices. Alright, here we go. So we did see some loading at the beginning, so that's not too bad. But oh, the animation sequence is a bit doubtful. Uh, but who knows, we've seen miraculous pools before with lousy animations at the beginning. So first red box, no evolution. Okay, okay, doki doki, yes, with an image like that, definitely. <laughs> the name fits. Alright, let's move on to... Uh, to the more rarer plates. Here we go. The second red box. No evolution for this. Oh, Ray Ray. Have I seen this image before? I don't think I have. 
this might be a new episode plate for me. Okay, oh, this looks new. Alright, some older episode plates. Let's move on to the last red box. Hopefully there's a chance for it to evolve. No evolution, okay, at least it's the Mikumo plate, but it's definitely an old one, which you can definitely get from free gachas, you know, depending on your luck. So, oh, it evolved. Ha. Huh. Okay, so that's something nice, I suppose. Uh, I think that, is this plate belonging to Mikumo's costume? Yeah, it is? Okay. So aside from the event episode plates that is given in the event itself, well, I do have one episode plate that at least it gives the costume points, but definitely not enough to unlock Mikumo's costume. And yeah, so I guess I just have to work harder during this event to try and unlock Mikumo's costume for free. But, you know, there is still Kanami's costume to worry about, which is really locked behind a paid wall. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me again for another, um, well, disappointing gacha video. <laughs> Not entirely, but, you know, it is exciting to see brand new uh, skills added to Uta Macross. You know, it proves that Dana is working hard behind the scenes to make things fun for their fans and their players of Macross. Uh, yeah, so anyway guys, thank you guys, as always, you know, um, let, leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the content, of course, if you guys enjoyed yourself watching me despair in my gacha pools, as always, you can always leave a like to that as well, share the video to all your friends who still play Utah Macross, and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video, which is very soon, because I'm going to record the video for the version 3.1.0 right after this, so anyway guys, Bye.